It just doesn't, man. It really just doesn't. I was searching for a full stack auth solution and I found it. For me, it should be working with Next.js as the front end and Express as the back end, but it works super well with just Next.js if you're into that. This is not sponsored. I'm just genuinely very impressed with how Clerk manages to achieve one of the best developer experiences I have ever had and also one of the easiest user experiences regarding account security and authentication in general. And while I truly think authentication has never been easier than this, there are also two trade-offs that you need to keep in mind with Clerk. When you first log into Clerk and create an application, you get something called a Clerk Publishable Key that you then provide to something called a Clerk Provider in the main directory of your application. At least that's how it works for Next.js. And then what you can do is super cool. In any page, you can get the current user just by having this line in there. Const user is going to be equal to await current user. That's all you need to do. There is no next auth managing this. In fact, if we go to the Prisma schema we have on the front end, you can see there is something called an article, but we are not managing the user anywhere in here because that's what we are offloading to Clerk. And if we take a look at the user interface, we can see all the users that our app currently has in here. We can view the profile, ban the user, delete the user, and so on. We have a lot of options when it comes to the users, which I really enjoy. In something like Next Auth, you would have to do that yourself, modeling that in the database, and then maybe even creating an admin UI and worrying about security there. We don't have to do that with Clerk. Let's close out of the Prisma schema. On the back end, it's not more difficult. This is an Express application. It works with Node.js slash Express. And as you can see, the middleware we can use for any API route we have is the Express require auth. We cannot call this endpoint unless we are authenticated. And also we can get the user just like this from the request. How easy is that? It's actually super enjoyable to work with, even more so than next auth, in my opinion, at least in some parts, not in all. Um, I'm gonna get to that later. However, take a look at one of the coolest parts in general. When I open up the browser to this application, we are on the sign in page. And you might wonder, you know, what, Josh, what's so cool about this? What's so special? It's this component right here. I did not build this. This is a component that is being provided by Clerk. And so is the sign up. This one is also provided by Clerk. You can just tell it which providers you want, something like email and password or the Google provider I chose, and then Rendering out this component is as simple as let's go to the sign up page. Let's take a look at the component. This is the box you just saw. This is this box. How cool is that? Like it's just one pre-made component that you can pass and all the rest is handled for you. And if you're worried about appearance, we can just go to inspect and take a look at this. We can see they have thought about that. It's a beautiful developer experience. It really is. Take a look at this. There's a lock symbol and then the class name that we cannot change, but there is a class name we can change. And we can make those changes with regular CSS, with Tailwind, with anything that you want really, as long as you apply it to these classes before the lock symbol. It's single-handedly one of the best developer experiences I've ever had. But as always, with the positive comes the negative. There are two trade-offs in particular that I want to point you to. First one, when you're using Next Auth, you own the data. The data is stored on your servers and you control what you do with it. With any third-party auth solution, not just Clerk, also Firebase, Superbase auth, anything that manages authentication for you, you're offloading that task to their servers. That might be a good option, but it might not, depending on your use case. So just keep it in mind, the data is not stored on your server anymore. Secondly, and very important, you are now paying for authentication. You are paying for the simplicity that they offer you and the security and all the best practices they implement. That's what you're paying for. Now they have a very generous free plan like most services do, you know, database, authentication, they all have very good free plans because they make their money from big enterprises depending on their solution. Next off is free. You don't pay a dime, but you pay with your time and that rhyme beautifully because you need to configure everything yourself. Is that a trade-off worth taking? For me, it is. 
for you it might not be. Again, it really depends on your use case. But keep in mind, now you're not only offloading the data to their servers, but you're also paying them to do so. And that's all I wanted to share. If you've ever tried out Clerk or know a better solution, maybe even, then definitely let me know. I'm always very interested in hearing your thoughts. And then I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.